Alright, hey, what's up guys? Gonna upgrade the speakers on this Toyota Prius, this 2020 Toyota Prius with some JBL 6x9s. You can get these on Amazon. Put a link in the description. Uh, it's significantly larger than the original speaker. It goes in like that. Well, the magnet is significantly larger. But yeah, let's go ahead to Star World, take the door panel off. Okay. Start with this little plastic cover here. You get a pick. Put that out of the way. Alright. Screw in. There's another screw over here. Now this whole door panel is held in by little clips. Uh, some people use like a little plastic tool to wedge in between that, but I found that you can just basically pull gently so you don't break any clips. Now the door should want to move up. Actually, there's one more clip. Oh, no. You want to move up now? There you go. Okay. Now gently pull it back, and we'll have to disconnect all these. It's the lock and uh, the handle, the cables. So you just spin it and let the line come out you don't really have to label these these are uh they go in specifically like the green one's always going to go in the bottom and then you gotta unplug the uh window regulator and, and all that get this little light out and done yeah these things are super easy these are little plastic tabs that i was talking about and make sure they're all seated Nicely, you could see there's one missing there. So, we'll slide that back in. All right, set this down. Okay, so this is the speaker itself. Obviously, it's pretty uh, cheap. So, what I like to do is that since this is riveted, I want to keep the original uh, plastic housing and so to do that we'll unplug this first and then we'll cut out this speaker basically because I've already done it to the other side and you'll see what I'm talking about this speaker actually mounts perfectly onto this rim alright so let's get started by cutting that open This is oddly satisfying, by the way. Now, I know this looks really messy, but would you rather drill these out and then have to pop rivet them back in? You really kind of need a special type of rivet with this giant little washer uh, to, uh, to hold this speaker mount in. Get some strong snips, and you can basically cut away at the mount. As so,
this old speaker. And you can see by the magnet, this thing is very tiny. Alright, so let me get this a little cleaner. Okay. So now about these little adapters from Amazon from Metro. Supposedly it's like a little converter that I can use so I don't have to splice up wires or anything like that. It's perfect. Should this attach? Let's see. Oh, they attach perfectly. Awesome. And this end will plug in here, obviously. A little tight, but that's a good thing, so it won't rattle out. All right, so I'll check that out. All right, so now the next step is we're just gonna get some screws. I'm gonna screw it in there, and actually, also kind of figure out how to <laughs> get the cables to come out. Instead of pinching it, maybe I'll, I'll cut away a little bit here. Yeah, let's do that. Actually, this might be an easier method. Remove this clip. Um, it's actually in quite solidly. Let's see. Can we get this guy out? Yes, we can. All right. Cleaner, but you learn. Does it fit? No, obviously, it's not the same part. <laughs> I don't have to do this. This is a little idea of mine that I got from the internet. It's 
basically this little peel and seal sound dampener. It's a roofing product. Yeah. Oh, but this stuff stinks. So this is basically a sound dampening material that I can place inside over there. is kind of sounds like a tin can so let's put that in it's very sticky Should have better reflective qualities. Actually, I might just put another layer. It's a little easy to get crazy with this, but I don't think too much of this will hurt at all. but that's okay. Alright. So let's go ahead and start putting the speaker on. Alright, 
Now this is the slightly ghetto part. <laughs> We're gonna try to drill this in over there. But I know that inside, as closer you are to the, the plastic speaker itself, there's a bigger chance that it'll just go straight through the plastic. And then the closer you are to the outside, it'll go to the metal. So we're gonna try to avoid drilling holes in the metal for obvious reasons. I mean, we can, but I just wanna keep this as original or as stock as possible. in as a little set screw. So just gotta be careful with your drill or screwdriver. You don't want to slip and puncture the speaker. Okay. One more screw. Well, two more screws. tighten this so I have a better feel of how solid it's holding. It's good. It's good. And strip a little bit but that's okay. Alright, we're good there. Now as far as this, I don't I'm not too thrilled by it. Let's see if maybe I don't want I just don't want it to rattle. So let's give it a quick little zip tie here, I guess. Let's see. job. Alright, that's good. Maybe I need to fill in that hole for acoustic purposes, but eh, I think we'll be fine. <laughs> Alright, so speaker's mounted, it's nice and solid. There's a little foam backing right behind that. I'm excited, so let's put the door panel back on. Surprisingly very easy. Alright, again, make sure all your tabs are in the right place. And installation is reverse that in Put these in alright remember the cables the green one goes to the bottom alright perfect alright double check that you got all the cables in 
want to wedge this part into here as so. It should slide in quite gently. There you go. Alright. You know when the <laughs> it's set in perfectly because the hole aligns over there. Alright, and then tab it back in. Perfect. Fits the speaker quite well too. Alright. Not to put this back in, but it's really dirty. Let me give it a clean. as well while I'm here. Alright. If I remember correctly, the dirty one should be in the bottom there. Where's my screwdriver? Yep. Cover. There you go. Pops right in. Perfect. All right. That was quick. Oh. That bottom didn't tap in as, as well as I expected. All right. I think we're good. Let's throw this crap away. Actually, let's give it a quick test, make sure we could hear it. Can you not detect it? Perfect. Turn your lights down wow, it sounds so much better. <laughs> and here's a quick little sound check where the sound editing was. There's no sound editing here. Obviously, it sounds like a tin can. much better. <laughs> <laughs> 